What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video I wanted to cover the iOS 10.3 release date and features. We know that the new release of iOS is on the horizon, so let's jump right into it. So iOS 10.3, what can we expect? What should you guys know about iOS 10.3? That's what I'm here to cover today in this video. So first off, the release date. Apple is expected to hold a March keynote event this year, if you guys did not know. And at this event, there are a bunch of releases that they do expect to unveil, ranging from iPads to the new iOS update to Apple Watch accessories and a few other items. What we do care about in this video is the iOS update. And of course, this will be iOS 10.3. Now in the past, Apple has usually held this event in early March usually before the March 10th time frame. And last year, they actually did hold the event in the third week of March, so it is hard to say. But the good news is that the event will actually be going on in the next few weeks, along with the iOS 10.3 firmware being made public. Now, leading up to this point, we have seen four betas of iOS 10.3 released by Apple to both developers and the public. I do have one of those installed here on my iPhone 6. And of course, the more betas that are released, the closer we are to the final release of the new version of iOS. Of course, there's no telling how many of these events we may see as even with a minor bug update like iOS 10.2.1, Apple did release four freaking betas, guys. I do think that we will see this final release at the Apple event before the end of the month. So iOS 10.3 features. Now there are actually some very legitimate features coming with iOS 10.3 that many of us can actually use and see the benefits and value of. So let's jump into those. Now the first feature of iOS 10.3 is find my AirPods. Now essentially what this feature allows you to do is to find your AirPods and play a sound if they are lost. Similar to the Find My iPhone application from another device. Now, although this is a nice feature, it isn't as useful as Find My iPhone when you are looking for an iPhone because the AirPods obviously have a limited range of connectivity, but it does allow you to find them if you are within your house or something like that. Very, very useful. Now, next up, we have updated Apple ID settings in the settings application. Now, by utilizing this convenient section located in the settings that I have pulled up here right now, you will be able to see how many devices you are signed into. You'll also be able to see your Apple Pay information, your ownership, data of the device, along with a storage breakdown of iCloud to see what is taking up the most space on your device and in your cloud storage, which is pretty useful. As you guys can see, you can edit all of those right here on the device. Super, super useful and convenient as opposed to having to dig through all the settings to do this in the past. Now, a feature that many of us will appreciate going forward is a feature called Apple File System, which is really under the hood of the operating system. This is Apple's new file system that they're implementing into iOS, and it does allow better security, better encryption, and better speed. So a Although you won't be able to see that on the surface of the device, you will be able to see a vast improvement under the hood and you will appreciate the security and the speed of the operating system going forward. Now there is a new app opening animation when opening and closing applications and it's not super noticeable, but if you do look closely, you'll be able to see it you should see rounded edges as opposed to the strict sharp edges that we did see in the past. Interesting. Another few features will allow you to use 3D Touch in the Maps application to see the weather of your current location, and it will also allow developers to be able to update the icons of their applications from the App Store without forcing you to download another update, which is pretty cool, and you will just see the application appear on your device without actually downloading a new one. Lastly, iPad-specific features are coming, including a one-handed keyboard allowing you to input text using one hand instead of both. Both hands. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually available on the betas depending on when you guys are watching this, but this will be coming with the final release and Apple is bound to increase these iPad specific features at the March event. So I'm really excited about the release of iOS 10.3 here, guys, and that really is everything that you need to know about the update. I definitely will be doing update videos when it is released, so definitely stick around for that and be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Just go ahead and click down there in the description, that little thumbs up button. Hopefully you're just as excited as I am, and I will also have my Twitter Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and Patreon, and website link down there in the description as well. So follow those to keep in touch, and stay awesome, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.